morning, hope you had a good weekend. Today I'll be reporting the week's weather. This week we have cold temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Monday will be cold in the morning but will be a bit warmer in the evening. And Thursday through Friday will be colder days. Some foods that keep you warm are bananas, water, and coffee. Bananas help regulate body temperature can also boost your mood and preserve your memory. Water, a simple way to help your body stay warm is to drink water. Water helps regulate your internal temperature. Coffee is one of the benefits to drinking because of their caffeine. Caffeine can raise your body temperature quickly. That's it for this week's weather forecast. Hope you have a nice day. Now on to the news. Hey guys, don't forget that this week is Spirit Week. Please make sure to participate in order to earn house points for your designated color. Also, Thanksgiving break is right around the corner, so do what you need to do in order to leave off on a good note. Please note that coronavirus cases are rising again, so please make sure you are staying safe by social distancing, wearing a mask, and always washing your hands. I hope you guys have a great week, and remember to always find the positives in each day. Good morning, Sally. This is Wendy Reyes, your school news reporter. I'm here with the one and only Dr. Castaneda Flores. Hello, everyone. In your opinion, what is the hardest part of teaching? The hardest part of teaching, in my opinion, is doing your best to be a mirror for all of your students. And by that, I mean being able to have every student see in themselves what I think we see in them as educators. Uh, I want to be stronger than their self-doubt. I want to be uh, stronger than their fears. And by that, I mean, you know, you want students to persevere, to push, to be resilient, uh, no matter what. And I think as teachers, we can clearly see you know, many times the students' uh, potential, those roots that they have inside of them that make them the amazing individuals uh, that they are. And I don't think students are always prepared to see that in themselves. So the hardest part is being a mirror for every single student and just getting them to see what I see in them every day. Oh, I don't know this. No, yes, you do. Oh, I can't do science. No, you are science. I, and to get them to see all of that, uh, that's why every day I wake up and make sure that my mirror is squeaky clean so that I can lead by example and hopefully inspire students to see those amazing things that I see in every single one of them. That's that's the hardest thing, to, to get somebody to really you know, see themselves and not only that, but then to care about themselves and then to act on that caring. So that's the hardest thing. What is the best? Yeah, so the best purchase that I've ever made, and I remember making this purchase when I was younger, uh, not the actual, you know, style that I purchase now, but one of my favorite accessories, well, I have two favorite accessories. Uh, the second one are, are beanies. I love to wear beanies, so if any of those seedlings want to give me a gift, just saying I love, I love uh, beanies. But this right here, this is my best purchase that I've ever made. I love Ray-Ban sunglasses. I wear these sunglasses all the time, every day. Uh, those of you that know me and sit on the courtyard up on top of ARB, when I get to school in the morning, I have my glasses on. And that's partially because maybe I'm half asleep, right? But you don't know that because I have my sunglasses on. I love this style of Ray-Ban glasses. Uh, growing up as an 80s kid, I just thought they were the coolest. And before you could get these fancy colors, uh, but I like to stick with the black. And the thing I like about these, let me put my other glasses on because if not, I'm blind, is that they actually fold. So they're like transformer glasses, right? So now I can put them in my pocket. They fit. So I know that I work hard for my little pennies. I, you know, definitely save them so I can purchase my Ray-Ban sunglasses about every three years because, you know, I do, I do take, they do take a toll, but best purchase plus you get protection from the sun and UV protection is key I would love to give a very tall bright and sunny shout out to the seedlings uh, we started off as seeds in ninth grade and I remember when all of you thought that I had given you an egg or a huevo and I was like no homies it's seeds right for the seedlings little 
did we know that that would end up being our name, but I think the greatest shout out that I'd like to say to them is that they've taught me how to rise up, right? As seedlings, we grow in a field together, and no matter what, through our darkest days, and this is a saying that always sticks with me, through our darkest days, we're seedlings, so no matter what, we always look for the light. We always look for sunlight, so we know that we're going to grow through it all, we're going to hold our roots tight, and we're going to rise up all the way to graduation. This is Wendy Reyes, your school news reporter, and we'll go with what's next. And here are this week's shout outs. Shout out to Mr. Eric for always having time to grade assignments, for having our grades updated all the time, and making time for all your students. From Ms. Beth Jacobo. Shout out to Ms. Alvaran for making time for your students, helping us in our art assignments, for being the best art teacher we can ask for, and for being so understanding of distance learning. From Jasper Abraham. Shout out to Professor Rubalcaba for bringing positivity to your class every morning and for motivating your students to participate from this bed at Cobo. Shout out to Ms. Aragon for making time so students can learn about different universities or colleges from this bed at Cobo. Shout out to ARB News for making the breaking news and for getting teachers to share advice to students about high school. Thank you. From Jasmine Abraham. And shout out to every senior for working hard on your college or UC application. You guys got this from Wendy Reyes. If you want to give your teacher or student a shout out, send it to the following email, bunchynews2021 at gmail.com. Credits, credits, credits.